are past Dead River Landing, Dead River Landing Recreational Area sign, which is actually maintained by Walton County. Um, but if you come here, you're going to split gravel to the left, pavement to the right. You want to drive to the left because all of the campsites are set up to back in. There are no pull throughs that I've seen so far. Um, but when you come around to the to the back side where the landing area is at, you got some really good pavement. So every site. There's one through nine over here, or one through eight, one through nine, or one through eight over here, and then whatever through sixteen on the other side. Now, unfortunately, what you see there in that site is trash from us because we put it in the trash can, but apparently somebody liked to get into it, so we'll have some to clean it up. Critter. But as you can see, every site has a number to it. And they all have a picnic table, a fire pit. A fire pit, picnic table, railings. Uh, grill. Grill. Also, some of them have some that, like that big, that one right there has a pole to it. Where you can hang trash on it or a light. Um, some of them have Sugar that. trap. Sugar trap. A, ours has it to the back. Um, each. It's really nicely maintained. We have one other campsite we can compare it to that's pretty much exactly like this. Maintained by the same people. Yeah, that's what I meant. Yeah, maintained by the same people. But ours looks way better. Yeah. Way better condition. And, and shout out to Billy for helping maintain that. That's right. And then the, the other thing too is is over the last three days four days we've seen a sheriff's car come through here three times two three times yep and he just pulled up and talked to us yeah so it's very well it's safe it's as it's as security and safe as it can possibly be now this site here is the only one that might be a pull might be considered a pull through um it technically doesn't have a grill yeah, that's right there. Does it? Oh, okay. Technically, you back up right here, but as you can see, you might actually have have a be able to do a pull through. It's one of the larger sites that they have. Um, put in a uh, kids area. And I'm thinking that the wood shavings and stuff are from around here, so you know, it's not like they chopped down a lot of stuff, so. And supposedly this park was supposed to be completely full and we've been here since the second and there's only been one other campground person that was here which is yes. Billy. Even though even though this site is free it's required for you to go on to the website find Dead River Landing uh -huh. Recreation Area you go on the website and you make a reservation and the reservations are made and then you either yay or nay you get confirmed and there you are you're here for 14 days for free if you have to if you want to be and they got little recreational park areas over there like you know your family comes in and you want to do a cookout yep it's got covered areas over there um we've seen numerous boat traffic yeah probably at least three a day yeah. um come in since we've been here but they'll park their cars pull the boat down park their cars up there Go out fishing. Um, you got a couple outhouses right here. Don't know what they look like inside because we have our own. Yeah, we have not used the outhouse. And there is said boater. There's Maybe. your boat traffic. But you got the pier you can go sit on. You got the creek or river, whichever you want to refer to it as, that you can go swim in. Um, does look a little murky, but it's actually fairly clear. Yeah, um, so this is one of seven. three, seven, one of seven creeks, rivers, streams, whatever that they want to call it. I would call it a creek, but it's pretty much a swamp if you can see it. Said, so, um, don't miss your steps. Yeah, excuse me. And the water is really, really nice. It just got through raining. So you can see where it kind of just turns to mud. 
But that's just it. You can actually tell whenever it starts to turn, you know, where the mud's at and where it's not. Um, the only thing to be careful of when you're here is if you have a lot of rain upstream, you're not going to know. <laughs> Florida's really bad about hot spot thunderstorms. Um, if you go to Destin with us, you know that, you know, it'd be raining all over and Destin, Destin being, being in the dry. Water. Well, so far, that's the same way here. This would be in the dry area and although it did pour yesterday for a while it did rain but it, you see rain all over the place and if it rains upstream as you can see the mud over there so that's pretty much the way it starts to look but i mean actually i wish i could wish i had a polar lens and i'll be able to show you that you can actually see three or four feet deep normally and everybody talks about how this little landing area goes down to a little bitty stream like right around in there and I just, I can't see it, but I guess it happens. Um, one guy refers to this as a swamp. And I guess if you go up into some areas, you can tell with the cypress trees and all that that there is. And then other people, like I said, for me, this is a small stream, a creek. You saw how fast that guy was going by? Well, he had a little, he had a motor on. I don't see anything. Yeah, if you can see what's on the water right there. But that, it's quiet. There's no partying. That's the current on the stream. Yeah, it's not. There's not been anybody crazy doing anything stupid. Um, and then the guy, the sheriff said, you know, all you gotta do is call him. He'll be here in a heartbeat. Uh, but anyway, overall, it's a good little campsite, especially for free. For not having to pay one thing, it's a very good campsite. I mean, we all know you got some of those campsites. Well, we just saw one maintained by the same people, and their buildings were all torn up. Their, so the situation looked like it. Somebody took a hammer and to ever to big sledgehammer to everything that was a the a building. Yeah, compared on one to ten, comparably nice. One being not nice, and ten being very nice. I would say that compared to this is probably a two. Yeah. It wasn't very nice, but it's free. Free is free. So, all right, guys, that is our review of Dead, Dead River, River Landing, Landing, Dead River Landing Recreational Area here in Walton County, Florida. For any boondockers, i.e., campers, there's there's now there's a whole another section over here that we haven't been in. So we drove around. It seems to be a little less tidy, but it still has some great campsites. It's all right in together. Um, I think they're trying to work on it like they, they're making it like this here over here. So it's another half of, of, a, of a section. But as far as what we can see right now for our very first camping experience in the RV. It's been great. It's been great and it's been a good sight. So we will come back here in a year, year and a half, hopefully, and review what we see. So you have to excuse me. I'm walking down. So but anyway, we love you. Talk to you later. Talk to you later. And we hope you guys enjoy the sunset and have a good day. Take care of each other.